In this example, we're going to familiarize ourselves with SchedulePt by creating a schedule for a small round robin tournament. In our example, let's assume that we have eight teams and the teams will play a total of seven games each across seven Saturday dates. This is a standard round robin where each team plays each other team once. In most round robin tournaments, we usually want to achieve several conditions, such as home away balance, as well as ensure teams do not play too many consecutive away games in a row. Let's start off by creating a new scheduling task. Select the Create Schedule icon and give your new schedule a suitable name. Once you click the new scheduling task, you'll be presented with the first of the four steps, adding in our teams and dates. Let's add our teams in one by one. You can either hit the plus button or select enter on your keyboard. Once our teams have been added in, we can also select our game dates. We have two options to set up dates, either by clicking on the dates in Calendar Setup or by defining a start and end date in the Quick Setup approach. Let's stick with Calendar Setup for this example. Simply select your game dates from the calendar and they will appear on the right-hand side. If you make a mistake, you can hold down the control button while clicking the date and this will remove it. Otherwise, you can hover your cursor over the date and a little trash can button will appear. So, now our teams and dates are set up. Let's go to step two, selecting our tournament type. SchedulePt supports several tournament types that offer varying degrees of flexibility as needed. In this case, we want a round robin. Select round robin from the drop-down box. And since we want only one single cycle of the round robin, we can place in one in the box below. Clicking out of the box, we can see a base schedule. This is not our optimized schedule, rather an initial example to give you an indication of what the final schedule could look like. Okay, so now let's add in some scheduling rules to ensure each team plays an even number of home and away games. As you can see from the rules section, we have a handful of scheduling rules that we can choose to add in as needed. Home away balance is defined as the difference between the number of home games, and away games that a given team plays. In most round robins, we're usually aiming for this to be as even as possible. In our example, each team will play seven games in total. So we want each of them to have either three homes and four aways, or four homes and three aways. Therefore, the desired home away balance is one. Let's add this home away balance rule into our scheduling task. We can use home away balance for all kinds of circumstances, such as maintaining balance for different times throughout the season or for specific teams only. In this case, we simply want home away balance to apply for all teams throughout the whole season. So let's leave the rule as it is. Okay, now we can run our first schedule by selecting Create Schedule. In a few seconds, we can review the outputs. As we can see, it looks like our home away balance rule has been met, but there are instances where teams play many away games in a row. Let's go back and add a new rule in to fix that. We call this rule home away repeated, which is defined as the maximum number of times a team is allowed to play either home or away in consecutive games. Let's add this rule in. Let's make sure that teams play no more than two away games in a row, so we can change the value to two and the drop down item to away. Now the rule reads, all teams play no more than two away games in a row. We could choose to add a home version of this rule too by selecting add more. Let's rerun our schedule. Okay, now the schedule is looking a little more balanced. Let's pretend though, that we need to make sure that Fairhope plays home against Brookline in the first game of the year. Shudulopt offers a rule just for that purpose, called pre-scheduled games. Let's add it in. So our rule is simply stated as, Fairhope must play home against Brookline in game one. We can specify the rule to reflect that. Now we can rerun. 
sure enough, we have the home game for Fairhope in game one. We can continue adding more rules as needed in the same fashion. In other videos, we will explore more advanced rules and tournament structures and deliberately invoke scheduling conflicts to illustrate what happens when you have rules that are incompatible with each other. Thanks for watching.